You know, there are areas in eastern Oslo where more than half of the population, in fact, have an immigrant background. There are schools where upwards of 90% of the children have an immigrant background. And many people, and not just ethnic Norwegians, immigrants as well, feel that it's too much. It's easy, you know, to tolerate these exotic peoples when they're far away. The type of values and the chaos, I mean, the diversity of humanity. For now, it looks as if we're getting a slightly less trusting, slightly more paranoid society. We're becoming more like the rest of the world, realizing that horrible things don't necessarily happen in Bosnia or Somalia or, or at, at colleges in the United States. They might just as well happen here. So what we are not getting, uh, which I would have hoped for, for one, is a more open debate about where we're going as a nation and what will be the content of Norwegian uh, nationality in the years to come. There was a major concern in the press and in the other media and even among politicians not to associate anti-immigration views or anti-Muslim views with Breivik. In fact, it's considered bad taste to do so, rather tasteless to say that this sounds like Breivik. It's almost taboo, which means that the Progress Party, our populist right-wing party, and other people who, who voice very strong negative opinions about immigrants and Muslims have pretty much uh, continued the way they used to.